remember about a sponge? What do you got? Um, when you cut them, when you cut them in half, they can um, those two halves can make a whole. Okay, so if you cut in half, what it has the ability to do? Regenerate. Regenerate. Okay. So it has the ability to regenerate. Now, uh, do humans have the ability to regenerate? No. 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 So if I cut not. you in half, it's a done deal, right? Yes. yes. What about your brain? Can I take a piece of your brain out, take it out of your skull, put it inside a test tube, and can it regenerate? No. No, it doesn't have the ability to do that. It's a, it's a what? A habitat sensitive. Piece. Now with the sponge, if I take it out of the ocean water though, can it live? Yes. No, no not for the time. Like no. time right, so most of the sponges that we have, like the ones that mom and dad used to clean the floors, or the loofah that you used to wash your body, is that a real sponge from the ocean? No. Or is it an artificial? Artificial. 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 Yeah, what's up? Okay, the sponge will grow and reach the sponge it still grows, but what does a sponge want to do in the ocean? It wants to do what? Let's yeah. say it gets cut off. What's the first thing it wants to do? Regenerate. Yeah. It regenerates, but before it can regenerate, it wants to do something with itself. Eat. It wants to attach itself right. So a sponge must attach itself. Okay, what does it want to attach itself to? Something what? Hard. Something sturdy, something hard. Good. So that it can grow. Alright? What do we say goes on inside the sponge? How does the sponge eat, breathe, go to the bathroom? What does it do? Oh, canals. It has canals. It has canals, right? It has canals inside the sponge. Actually, it chambers. Canals, oh, we call them chambers. And through these chambers, what? The food comes in. It the gets processed out. and goes through, and it also what breathes through these chambers as well, right? Yeah. Now, Can you well, what did we say it was? Osculum, right? Exactly. Now it has these chambers. Now here's a picture of a sponge. The sponge has got all these canals, and then it's got this main opening here, right? And through that main opening comes what? The food, the oxygen. Um, who likes to feed on them? Uh, oh, yeah. Half fish. Parafish, yeah. So now, the biggest enemy to a sponge is a parafish. Now, by eating the sponge, what is the benefit to the parafish? Why does the parafish eat that? Because it's what? Is it easy prey? Yes. Yeah, right? Because does the sponge have any defense mechanisms? No. It doesn't Can it fight back? No. No, so if it attaches itself, or it wants to try to attach itself where? In an area that's what? Hard and sturdy. Hard and sturdy, but away from what? A predators. Away from the predators, right? Now, how much sponge do you think is on the ocean floor? Oh, yeah. like a ton of it. It's all over the place. Can you, does anybody ever go to Coney Island Beach? Oh, uh, what about Bright Beach? Bright Beach. Bright Beach. That was the other side, but you've been to Coney Island Beach, right? Yeah. Has anybody ever gone into the ocean? No. Now, when you go in there, do you open your eyes? Yes. Has anybody ever seen a sponge on the floor? I saw, I saw a stingray before. Inside Coney Island Beach? Amazing, because they don't really live in the cold weather like that. But yeah, if you saw a stingray not cool, don't get married, it will kill you. Friend, All right, so. I see a stingray. Oh, okay. But sponges, can you view them? Can you view them in the beginning of the water, like on the shore? No. No, you got to go way out there, really deep. Has anybody ever gone scuba diving? No. No, I'm. I'll, I'll yeah. Scuba you been that. scuba diving? Where? China. Um, <laughs> That's in our frontal, see our frontal cortex is messed up. No, so if you go scuba diving and the water is really deep, particularly if you go to the Caribbean, you'll see a lot of sponges. They come in different colors? Yes. Different colors, okay. So no, you don't have no set sheet. And they come in different colors. Now, looking at some of the stuff that we know about the sponge, when you're preparing for the test, they may ask you a question that has to do with any one of these. The question that I think they're definitely going to ask you is, they're going to ask you about the regeneration. Because the fact that a sponge can regenerate means that it can live for what? A very long time. Yeah. Okay? Unlike, unlike a human being, if you, if you were to cut off a piece of a human being, like their hand or their arm or their leg or their head, that thing doesn't you, survive. You've got, got a real serious problem. Okay? <laughs> is there another animal that we know of that if you cut it in half, it can regenerate? Jellyfish. A starfish. A starfish, yeah. Oh, starfish, okay, it's kind of like a sponge. What does starfish look like? It looks like that, you know. Oh, it's starfish. Okay, it's oh, a starfish. No, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a starfish looks like? 
Has anybody ever been to the aquarium? Yeah. They have like a touching oh, yeah. one where you can actually go and take it. Now, when you go to the aquarium and you touch a starfish, you just snap off one of its legs? No, no that would be really splash. mean, okay? <laughs> so, but if a starfish gets injured, okay, if you're just touching it, uh, for example, if you go to the aquarium and when nobody's looking, you take the starfish and you snap off a piece of leg, you take it home and put it inside your aquarium. Is it going to regenerate? Yes. yes. Tell us. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, the reason they let them take it home at the aquarium is if you take it out of the aquarium, it can regenerate. What's something else if you cut it in half, it can regenerate? Clam? No. No. Mm -hmm. But starfish, a sponge, anything else? Uh, jellyfish. Jellyfish? No. I know because I cut them in half all the time. <laughs> no, anything else? Uh, nothing slug. else? Slug. Slug, yeah! Uh, yeah slug. Oh, yeah. slug is so cool because if you step on it, right? And it goes oh, half like oh, that. Yeah. And a worm. And a worm, too. Worm has the ability, too. So these oh, are things. Yeah, right. I wish we Which had that ability. Earthworms. Earthworms. No, no, earthworms, yeah. You wish we had that ability? Long. Yeah, I know. It'd be really great. But. By having the ability to regenerate, remember we were talking about the brain? Let's think about it like this. If we cut this starfish in half, right? It has a brain, right? Here's a trick question. Well, like, you know, down the middle. the brain. I wonder, though, if we cut it in half, does that starfish have the same brain in both pieces? Or does it have a new brain? Same. Yeah. What is that word? Or attach itself hard. To a hard surface. Yeah, hard surface. Now, if you regenerate, though, does it regenerate the same memories? No. Does it regenerate the same experiences? Or does it become... I don't think it has a brain. You don't think it has a brain? Well, I don't think it has memories. The starfish doesn't have memories? Does no, it just no. sits around there? Does it know what's going on? It does. Yes, it does. It does. Let me ask you a question. You guys take science class. So they've been showing the experiment about, you ever see like when people go to the hospital, they attach the electrodes to see how their heart is moving? Yeah. Okay, what they did was they took the electrodes and they attached it to a plant. Wow. Okay, now, what they did was they wanted to see if the plant was alive and it had a brain and was responsive to pain. So what they did was they attached the electrodes to the plant and then they came close to the plant with a scissor. And as they did, the electrodes started showing that the plant started getting nervous. Wow. Okay? Because the plant, the plant, yeah, because the plant perceived what? It saw something, what, as the scissor as what? Sharp edges. It saw, it saw, it saw the scissor as danger. Now, when they cut the plant's leaf, the EKG went like this. So it showed that the plants are responsive, they do have sense. Doesn't a plant have nerves? So when you guys are running around outside kicking trees and pulling leaves off the tree, you're actually hurting the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Because imagine if you were standing outside and just start pulling your hair.